I think the COVID environment certainly has elevated the concern that property managers have from a risk perspective. Uh, if you think about COVID, not only the health concerns, we'll take that off the table, that's a whole other discussion, but from a physical security standpoint, the building still needs to be protected. Typically in a building now, you have uh, less occupants. Um, in some cases, because you have less occupants, sometimes building security protocols have increased. So now they're, they're, they're operating that building at, as if off hours versus normally if it was pre or post COVID when you have an open building, and most buildings are, you have people that can come in and out pretty, pretty freely and go up in an elevator. Uh, now, uh, a lot of our clients have uh, asked that the uh, building be more restrictive uh, because you have maybe 10, 20% of the occupants now that are in that building. That also helps us because in security personnel, we can't, if we have a building that has hundreds and thousands of people going in and out of it, there is no way our security personnel will recognize everybody. Uh, in a COVID environment where it is much more closed building, or even if it's an open building, we, we, we get to know those people that are coming in and out. It, it actually will help from a security standpoint. Um, we have not seen an elevation, at least from our customers, where criminal activity has increased in our buildings. What we have seen in cities is an elevation of criminal activity post-COVID uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, that uh, people that normally would be out there uh, uh, are staying at home. And unfortunately, the criminal element have, has used that as an opportunity to uh, engage in more criminal activity. Here in Atlanta, we've seen a 400% uh, in, increase in crime since last year. Uh, murders, uh, shootings, uh, criminal activity, such as uh, car break-ins, uh, thefts, uh, that type of thing. Uh, that's very concerning. Uh, in fact, Secure America right now is working with the Atlanta Police Department, Atlanta Police Foundation, putting a collaborative effort together between pr private and public security to see what we can do to increase uh, the visibility of security personnel uh, in the buildings that we're, where we can actually go outside and provide a little bit more visibility. Uh, they're going to be adding more police as well.